Hi, it's Craig from DiviTeamExamples.com and today we are looking at the Divi Theme Builder and how to add a site-wide template for your blog posts. So if you've already updated to Divi 4, you'll see there's a Theme Builder tab here and this is where all of your templates for your website will be stored. So we haven't actually created any templates or added any yet, but we are going to use one of the free template packs from Elegant Themes and add a blog post template. So on this demo site at the moment, we have a blog post here. Uh, this is what it looks like in the back end. Just got some dummy content, had a featured image, tags, categories. And this is just the default blog post style. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is on the Elegant Themes blog, there are six different posts, each for each of the um, theme builder packs. So this is the fourth one, and each pack contains a number of templates that you can use. You can use all of these at once, or we're just going to use the uh, blog post template. So you've got header, footer. This is the post template that we're going to use. But there's also product page, 404, and category page. So you will need to scroll down and put your email address in here and hit download and that will reveal the download button. Once you've downloaded it, you need to unzip the file and inside, I'll show you. So back in Theme Builder, we need to click on the portability icon here and go to import and select file. So this is the unzipped Divi Theme Builder Pack 4. So inside you can load them all. And the one we want is the post template. So these are JSON files, same as <coughs> Divi layouts, but you can't import these into the Divi library. And, uh, <coughs> okay, so we're gonna open that. So these are saying override the default website template and allow import to override existing assignments. So we don't have any templates or assignments or templates set up yet, so we can just leave those checked. If you, so for instance, this is the post template, so this is assigned to all posts. So if you would have had created a template already assigned to posts and import this one, it's going to override it. So if you have templates already, just be aware. And when you click it once, it's saying reference to global headers, body, footer, that were exported from. So we want to relink them <coughs> to this website's global header body and footer. So click on import. And here <coughs> you can see you have the custom body. This is our all posts. And if you save the changes and go back to our blog post, you can see it now has the template assigned to it. So you can either leave it as is, or you can go in and edit further. So there's a few things. So like you might want to have the post navigation, which I don't think is on this template. So, <clears throat> For instance, if we wanted to add some, the post navigation into the template, you can just click on the edit button and it's going to load 
the content here. So, I mean, this is a good way to see how the template's been structured. So it's, so here we have a post title module. These are, so we have a blurb and it's using uh, dynamic content here. So post categories, if we just delete that. So you can see in the title, you could either type in a title or use this for dynamic content. So we want to add post categories in here. And <laughs> if you wanted to add some text, um, it's posted in, and then it will display the dynamic content. So. Posted in category one, category, category three, categories. You want to have a space. And you can <coughs> change the separator. And so, for instance, so this is the main module. If you're, if you're creating your own templates for blog posts. This is the post content. So this module here would be includes everything that you put into your post content here. So that's obviously one that you need to include. And then here again, this dynamic content. So this is using a blurb. So the title is set as post author by dynamic content, author bio, dynamic content in the body, and then the image post author profile picture. So let's say we wanted to add some site navigation here, post navigation. So we can use this module here. And it will have the name of the previous or next blog post, or you can type in previous next post. But probably would want to just leave that as the name. Um, <clears throat> so you can do within the current category. So it's people are reading stuff that they're more likely to be interested in at that moment. And all of these elements have the, the same design advanced content tabs as you used to. So you can style it in any way you want as as normal and then so related posts here maybe so it <coughs> is set to current category so it's going to be displaying uh, the most recent posts from the same category as the current cat current post category so these are quite long, so you might want to change the excerpt. Then you got a comment module and you can add, so if you wanted to add a sign up form, it doesn't need to be dynamic content. Um, and edit as you like. So you click on the close button, save and exit. So you can see here posted in category one categories. Doesn't really make sense, but there you go. And we've got the content. We now have a link to the previous post. 
which also uses the same template. Next, previous. And that is how to add a host template to Divi using the theme builder. So I'll, um, <coughs> I'll add a link to each of the six uh, theme builder packs on elegant themes. So you, they're easy to find. And uh, they're also <coughs> listed on dvlayouts.com. So there's a category here, Divi theme builder templates. So you can see here we've got the six theme builder template packs. We have a sticky and fixed menu layout, and then there's a global header and global footer template. And these can all be downloaded and used in your theme builder. Okay. <clears throat>